Good morning everyone, good evening or good afternoon or night depending on when you're watching this. That intro is relevant to the topic of this video because I want to show you a new watch I got for Christmas. It's been since, it's been uh, three years since the last talking watch video I made. So I'm going to have to keep my wrist at the level of where the camera is so that you can see the watch. Um, this is one of the latest talking atomic watches and I'm going to show you its features. So this particular one, as you can see, you might not be able to see that, but it's a metal band watch, like a, a watch band. So that means it's easy to... To, to remove you don't have to fasten things to go ahead and remove the watch oh and um, depending on uh, depending on your needs you might have to get a custom band fitted if for some reason the watch doesn't suit your wrist I mean this one is a little bit too um, tight but the good thing is it won't roll around or which, like the regular leather band watches, you can if you if you if you don't have it if you don't have full sight like me, it can actually roll around on you too much, and that's not a good thing, and it just makes the watch feel a little bit loose. But with these metal band these metal band watches, they stay firmly in place. You can't even move. Well, you can, but moving moving you moving around the timepiece is just going to stay in place so I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show you all the features of the watch so that you can hear it so the two o'clock button as you'd expect on most of these talking atomic watches announces the time the time is 6.07 a.m. very basic for a, for that button it's what you'd expect on a talking watch if you've if you've followed the talking watch scene for a long time the button, which I like to call the four o'clock button, and what it's called in the manual, tells you the date. Today is Thursday, 28 December. And then the buttons right at the bottom, the 10 o'clock button, will tell you the alarm time and whether the alarm is on or off. So, in my case, the alarm is on. And the last button, which is the 8 o'clock button, will tell you whether the watch was able to get a signal over there and tell you the status of the time and whether it's in sync with the atomic clock. UK time updated. In this case, it was able to get a signal over that, so that means the time is in sync with the atomic clock. So, that's just about it for the basic functions now you can modify those at will and to do that if you follow if you've watched my life max talking watch video it's pretty much the same procedure but there are differences which I'm going to go into so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and set and, and uh, attempt to, to change some options so what you got to do is you've got to hold down the um, 8 o'clock button. Set alarm. Press 10 o'clock button to set. So your first option is setting your alarm. Alarm on off. Press 10 o'clock button to set. Now let's say we want to turn on our on and off the alarm. So by default your alarm will be off when you first unbox the watch. Press So, alarm on. two o'clock button, alarm off. and four o'clock button turns it off. Now, listen very carefully. Confirm. So, alarm is off. now before, when I pressed the ten o'clock button, it would tell me what time the alarm is set for. If uh, the only way you can get the alarm time is by setting the time or going into the set 
time option. I'm going to turn my alarm back on. I believe on some watches it actually does go ahead and tell you the alarm time once you turn it on. This one on the other hand doesn't. Now some atomic watches, they'll go ahead, they'll tell you the alarm time regardless of whether it's on or off. It'll tell you the alarm time and it'll tell you whether the alarm is on or off or not. Like, I think the last one I had, which was similar to this one, was a two button layout. And that told you the alarm time and told you whether the alarm was on and off, on or off. Now let's move on to the next section. Chime on and off. So your chime, that's your hourly report. So what this watch does is if you set it, you can make it go off on the hour, every hour. There are exceptions on this watch, which is very different from other talking atomic watches I have owned and seen. So Here's how it works. This watch will go off every hour starting from 6 a.m. and ending at either 9 or 10 p.m. So that means you'll have an hourly report for sixteen hours which is an estimate. I'm not sure what the threshold is, but other people who own this particular watch or a similar watch will be able to clarify for me. Oh, and if you don't, and if you don't do anything in the menu, the main watch menu for setting things after five seconds, it's going to, it's going to place you back into the standard announcement screen where you can get, where you can get information about the time, the date, your alarm time and your uh, signal status. Now, the next option in the set menu is going to be very different depending on the watch. In this case, set time. Now, if you've been following along with all the talking atomic watches, you may be wondering, but where's my time zone setting on my global signal selection? Well, I hate to say this to you, but this watch was made specifically for use in the United Kingdom. But, however, there are various, there are a lot of these talking atomic watches out there. So I'm going to tell you exactly what the setting is on some of them. If you've got a watch that is specifically made for the US, then you're going to see time zone setting and you'll be able to use all four US time zones. And um, yeah, US domestic, this is what I like to call a domestic watch. This one is UK domestic, so after turning on the hourly chime, the only option is for you to set the time and that's a good thing because you can manually set the time. Some talking atomic watches, um, uh, some talking atomic watches don't have a manual time setting option at her. Most of the ones I've owned do. Weather, light rain zoom, Liverpool, expected to start at 0627. To open the notifications menu, press control option N. That was just my Mac. Most of the, uh, most of the talking watches I've seen do have a manual time setting option and most of the watches I've owned do but there are some that don't and now we're going to go ahead to the final option and that is setting the date now not a lot of these talking watches actually have this feature which is this this is the first atomic watch I have seen that actually has the option to change the date for some reason. Now to change the date on, on this, you want to press the 10 o'clock button to confirm that you want to set the date. The 10 o'clock button sets the year, the 2 o'clock button Mac sets... Mac OS High Sierra is the coolest 
Um, the two o'clock button sets the month, and the four o'clock button, you press that, and that's going to change the day. And let me see it back down again because I don't need to do anything else with the watch. Um, this watch was made to respond to daylight saving time. So if the clock, if the clocks ever do go backwards or forwards, then at three o'clock every morning, this watch is going to attempt to go and get a signal. If for any reason it fails to get a signal, you can manually make it do that. And the way you do that is by pressing the 10 o'clock button. And on a watch that has hands, you're going to hear you're going to hear the hands start spinning and then the second hand is just going to be suspended and will stay there until it gets a signal and then once it once it finds one it's going to set it's going to synchronize both the voice time and the internal digital time um, so that it can get a signal this particular watch though doesn't have any hands this is a digital atomic watch And unlike all the other digital atomic watches I've seen, this actually has an hourly chime. Um, that's why you may get before, instead of the set day option, you'll see the second hand alignment option. Now for anyone who wants a watch like this one, um, I'm afraid to tell you that this particular model is only available in the UK. Hence why it's a domestic watch. There may be a version of this watch for global audiences, like in the US, like a US specific watch. I think you'll have to go on to it. I think you'll, I think there's one by an outfit, an outfit called um, On Time, which is very similar to this one with the metal band and everything. Um, someone can clarify me on that one. Um, but anyways, that's my review of this um Life Max Talking Watch. Oh, and by the way, I, I also forgot to mention the year. So, if for any reason you do need to change the year, like say your receiver isn't working properly, um, keep in mind this year start, the year settings start from 2021 all the way to 2059. Now a lot of the older watches, they'll have an, an, an older threshold but this one was this one is a brand new digit, digital talking atomic watch. So the release is probably 2021. Now, unlike all the the the, way, the thing I've observed is I've observed quite a lot. I'm going to tell you what I I'm going to tell you my opinion about this watch. So what do I like about it? Well, nice metal band. So if you need to remove the watch, it's pretty easy to do. You don't have to mess around. Um, the voice is, re is nice and clear as well. It's a nice male voice. It was recorded by the R&RB, by the way. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, the ability to set the date is nice. I like the fact that we've got an hourly chime and all the usual all the usual timekeeping functions are available. There's only one thing I don't like, and that is that it doesn't announce the year when it tells you the day. Now, a lot of the talking atomic watches I've owned and seen do announce the year. This one doesn't, I mean, if you listen again. Today is Thursday, 28 December. Yeah, this uh, doesn't announce the year. It announces the date in the UK date format as well. Most of the atomic watches I've seen use the US date format. So, in if if this was the case, it would say Thursday, December twenty eighth. We announce it as the twenty eighth of December. That's the one thing I don't like about this watch. Let me tell you about the alarm real quick. Now your alarm. It's very different from a lot of the atomic watches I've seen. 
Now the alarm's gonna... Weather, do... great stopping soon. Monterey, expected to stop at 22, 35, GMT-8. To open the notifications menu, press control, option, N. Now a lot of the talking watches um, I've seen, when it comes to the alarm, they'll have sort of a 50 second timer when the alarm goes off. And when that timer is exceeded, the last beep, the alarm will will stop and the watch announces the time. Now simply pressing anywhere on the watch while the alarm goes off will announce the time or the alarm time even. Um, and here's another thing. This one, this watch is very different in itself because the alarm it doesn't do three beeps it does two beeps instead and the first the first few it doesn't do that first thing when it initializes the alarm now I'm not sure if if you know if you've had if you've had any experience with the older talking watches you'll know what I'm talking about but this one's got more like a so similar to a microwave beep but lower pitch. So that's my uh, review of this uh, metal band four button layout talking atomic watch. Um, and if you're looking for one, um, I'd look for, for US audiences, I'd look on somewhere like Maxi Aids or Independent Living Aids for the US equivalent of this watch. Um, I mean, there's plenty of different ones. On time, that's US domestic. I suspect that this one was made by T&J, hence why it's UK domestic. Uh, other people might be able to help me out on that one. If you guys know what model, what brand this one is in the comments, UK time, it's the voice. Let me know in the comments because I um I do like these talking atomic watches, so. Oh, and one more thing I also forgot to mention when setting the time on a non-digital atomic uh, watch. So if your watch isn't digital like this one, when you're setting the time and you um, do confirm your new settings for the time, you won't be able to use the watch. The watch will be suspended until it corrects the time. So in the background, and you may be able to hear it, the hands are going to keep on spinning now this is going to go on and on until it can synchronize with the audible time now this can take from this can take as long as 10 minutes with my in my experience with these talking um these talking uh, atomic watches um, and I want to go over the two button layout version of some of these watches. Now this, the features are very much similar. I've done a review of a similar watch, similar to this one, with a two button layout. But I'm going to do a recap, just in case you don't know. So on the two button talking watch, you'd have your two o'clock button as usual. But if you press it twice, it would tell you the date. And if you press the four o'clock button it tells you your alarm time now with the two button talking atomic watch to get a signal you press the two o'clock button three times so you would have to it'll tell you the time it'll tell you the date and it will tell you whether your um you your watch was able to get a signal and to get a signal to to make the watch get a signal on those watches you simply hold down the two o'clock button and to set anything on those watches, you simply hold down the four o'clock button. Very simple. Now, most two button talking atomic watches will come with a crown, so they won't have second hand alignment. This particular watch, like I said, it's digital, so it doesn't have any hands, so you'll get a, um, as far as I know, there's no hands on this watch. So it fully digital. I mean if I put it to my ear now
There is no sound whatsoever. Because on the atomic watches with hands, you'd be able to hear the second hand moving as it moves between the seconds. This one doesn't, due to it being a digital watch. Um, so that's just about it. So there's many different versions of these watches. I'm surprised that this one was a four button layout, especially with the metal band, because I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting to see a watch like this with the metal bracelet as a four button layout. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure the... Uh, this one's um as you can tell this one is a this one was meant for men but the I suspect that the um other version be a lot will have a lot longer band. Um there is a version with a leather if it, there is a version with a leather strap if you're used to that. But for me I like this and I'm and I recommend if you don't know how to put on a watch, I recommend the leather band no the metal band because you can if you need to you can take it off like this see and now I'm showing you the entire watch this is where your sig this at the back not where your, where your battery is this is where your signal reception is and if I want to put it back on again I just simply slide it on like that see piece of cake I don't have to do any, any messing around. It's easy to remove and put back on. And I recommend this watch for, I recommend the metal band for most new visually impaired watch owners because it's just, it's just easy to, to take on and back off again if you need to. Anyway, that was my review of this talking watch. I hope to review some more stuff in the future. So I've, up to now, I've reviewed five talking watches on this channel and this is the fifth i've done the i think that's five the first one i did was the i've done the reflex talking watch the four alarm talking watch with four alarms back in 2020 i've done the two button version of this watch uh the two two button atomic watch the talking life max atomic watch and this watch so that makes a total of five different watches so, yeah. Pause with the stop taking with no button. Thank you all for watching. This is Jorgen signing off saying have a good day everyone.